Hello everyone, today we're going to be trying some new Colourpop makeup, which obviously is already on my face. In this video I'm going to be swatching and using two Super Shock shadows, Super Shock blush. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm currently wearing one of the Ultra Glossy lips and then I'm going to be swatching, both lip swatching and on my arm, some of the other lip products and bits that I got. The list is down below if you want to see exactly what it is but I decided to make this because I always always look for swatch videos before I buy anything on Colourpop because obviously it's all online. Um, I did however previously get to buy some stuff in store and that's what started my love of it because when I was in New York they sold it in the Ulta near me so. As I go through and apply my makeup I will show you the swatches and then at the end, I will go through some more lip swatches. So let's just jump right into me with a bare face. Alrighty, we are starting off very makeup free. Quite a little pink nose for some reason. Um, you know, when you've had like a couple makeup free days and a couple like showers and days where you haven't been putting on or taking off makeup and you're like really makeup free, I feel like my lashes almost get tinted. I'm gonna start off with foundation, I'm going to put on my Clinique Beyond Perfecting foundation. Obviously this is not what I'm trying out today. So I will do this and get back. Okay, so foundation is obviously done. I hate that like foundation face. Also my eyebrows. I uh, just didn't need to do that on camera and it's going to run out of battery. So um, before I set anything with powder and then go in with bronzer um i would use sorry, i'm looking for it a cream blush and i just apply it with a stippling brush so i'm going to try that with um because that's what i do for my other super shock cheek so i'm going to try my new blush so this is the color no vacancy um and it looks like a, a hot orange but i like bright colors so i decided to go for it um, I think this, I also got the peachy mattes recently, but I feel like what I call a competition mirror. Yep, Got a big mirror in the front. Just remind me of dance competitions. Wow, this really smells like peach. Okay, so we're going to dab, dab, dab in there. Oh, that's nice. Zoomed in? Yes. So you can see just, it's a little flush of, of coral orange. Like, I think it's really fun. Uh, I know some people aren't like blush people. I am blush people, so um, I was really excited to try this out, I think. And that whole, what do they say, they call it like the sunburn look or something where you drag it across your nose. I most of the time do that because um, I'm so fair so it kind of makes sense um, to do that. Because I do get sunburned a lot, but that is no vacancy, it'll obviously be much more toned down and I have powder and stuff over it. I really like this. Yeah, I'm gonna do a little more on this side. Yeah, I'm here for it. Very much so. And it doesn't have a, um, it do like obviously because it's a more of a wet product, like it's a cream product, it does have uh, a slight dewiness to it, but it doesn't have shimmer like the other blush I have, which is Prina. It doesn't have, um, that has a sheen, but this doesn't have a the same one but I like it it just really brings some life to your face it's a yes from me so I just set my face with powder and did a little bit of bronzer and I'm just going to prime my eyes now before I get into that okay so oh, the primer I'm using is the Too Faced shadow insurance I love this I have extremely oily <laughs> eyelids um, so I typically don't actually wear shimmers, even though one of the things I'm going to be wearing today is a shimmer. Um, I'm going to be trying Waffle and Hanky Panky as well. I'm going to do a little bit of both. But yeah, I don't typically wear shimmer eyeshadows. That's why I just got the Just Peachy Mattes. Um, because my skin is, especially my eyelids are so oily, it just like comes right off. So I actually got Waffles because I saw, I think, Kathleen Lights was talking about it um, and she said that it's a great like all over the lid color like you just swipe it on and then it's uh, an eyeshadow look and it's you know great for every day so I kind of got it as a back to school kind of thing um, for just being able to throw on um, I'm gonna apply this with my finger 
But then I'm going to go in with Hanky Panky, which is a matte. It's one of the few matte ones. It's a little cracked, I'm going to say that. It came a little cracked, but it's just a really nice matte brown. So I'm going to probably put a bit of that in the crease just to maybe tidy it up a bit. So let's do that. I'm liking this. I think it's a really simple, more subtle, if eyeshadow is ever subtle, look. Um, I like the warmth of it, I have to say, because I typically just go for warm colours. Um, gr like grey tone, blue tone kind of stuff just doesn't look good on me. Um, I think it's just because I'm fair and kind of because of my eye colour. Okay, so that is Wattles. Wattles? Yep. Yeah. All over the lid. Uh, I do really like it. It is a satin, so it's not too not too sparkly. Um, if that's something that your skin doesn't necessarily take as well, like me. Um, and it also always irritates my eyes, the little bits falling out of glitters and shimmers. So now I'm just going to kind of blend into the crease, hanky-panky, and maybe under the lash line, just to really, just to see what it's like. I'm gonna just swatch it on my arm, because I haven't actually swatched it yet. Is this a little dry? Oh no, it's fine. Yeah, I like that. That's nice. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of that in and around the place, and then that'll be it for the eyes. I want to keep it really simple. One big benefit of the Super Shock Shadows is that they're just so easy to blend. I really like both of those colours, although, so I thought Wattles was going to be a bit more pink, um, just from the swatches, and actually when it originally arrived, because if you see how dark it is in the packaging, I was like, um, this isn't the right one. Look how dark that is. Um, so I was like, that's the wrong one, but it wasn't. So that is kind of it for the face makeup. I'm going to pick a lip colour to wear, I'm going to do finish my eyes and then I'm gonna pick a lip color to try it now and then I'll probably do swatches later on of the others because I did get a number of lip products I do love them I am someone who desperately needs to curl their eyelashes I mean like look I curl my eyelashes when I don't wear makeup fun fact because they are just I'm lucky I have pretty decently thick eyelashes but they do not curl at all all by themselves. Why does this keep going out of focus? So, mascara, I'll just tell you I use Essence Lash Princess, but this is old and I got a new one. I decided to get the waterproof one, but then it was way too hard to take off, so I'm not using that. And I need to go get the original as well, because it does transfer quite a bit. At least, I will fix that. I never do that. People always say, oh, you know, when you make a mess with mascara. No, only when I'm filming. But yeah, it does transfer because I have like a hooded eye. So if I'm looking down my lashes, I'll touch my skin and they will transfer. Because as I said, I'm a greasy gal. I need to get a new one of this, but it is still a great mascara. I would definitely recommend it. It's not too chunky clunky. It is. Just great. There! Eyelashes! Wow! The difference it makes. Just got a little cotton bud for this. Honestly, like, that's good enough. Yeah, that's good enough. Just gonna do some clear brow gel. And then we will do lipstick. Okay, so my brows, I just used the Essence Clear Brow Gel Mascara. There you go. Um, my brows look a bit wet. I think there was a lot of excess on the brush and I just wiped it through, so, uh, I just kind of made the other one match. It'll be fine. I think right now I'm going to try the lip gloss Pony Up. Obviously I have absolutely nothing on my lips right now. No lip liner, nada. This would usually go as a topper, but I just want to see, um, <gasps> yay, pink, what it is like by itself. And I do have, um, this side is fine on this side of my mouth. It looks a little messy. I actually have a scar from a really bad breakout from an expired lip gloss. How fun. 
Okay, this is Pony Up. It is extremely cute and I'm gonna wear this all the time. I will say, however, it's not as glossy as the other little glasses, if that makes sense. I do have JJ and Champagne Mommy uh, already and I wear them all the time. No, maybe I just needed a bit more product. But those are a bit more oily feeling compared to this. But I don't know if you can really tell how pink it is on camera, but it is exactly the colour I was hoping for, so that is very exciting. So I'm just going to insert some like lip swatches of the other colours. I haven't filmed that yet um, because my camera's going to run out of battery and I have to go somewhere, but uh, I'm sure they're going to be super cute and I will just insert those here. So the first ultra glossy lip I tried was Pony Up and I already put this on in the video as you saw, but I just put on kind of one medium coat in the video so I did a lighter coat and then you'll see I put on a second coat to see what it's really like um layered up and this is such a perfect pink I was really on the market for some pinks and it's perfect everything I wanted the other ultra glossy lip I got was in fudged and this was definitely for the autumn and winter um it I, again I think it is good for someone who's quite fair and it's nice and neutral and I did put a second layer on and it just makes it a bit deeper and I also loved it that way so I will be wearing this a lot. The lipstick I got was in the Velvet Blur collection um, in the colour Sphinx and I just love their packaging. It smelled a little weird but not bad weird just different weird. I'm actually wearing this today. I love this pink. Such a perfect bubblegum pink but again flattering because I would struggle with them being a bit too light um, but very comfortable to wear as well because I'm wearing it today. Lippy sticks in love life. I'm terrified of red lipsticks. I have to say, you can see it on my face. Um, I think it's because this is me tan. What you're seeing is me, you know, tan and in inverted commas. Uh, I just have a lot of freckles. And sometimes reds can be overwhelming, I find, on paler skin tones. But this is so perfect. Definitely recommend this love life color if you are a dark blonde. I'm obsessed and it was so easy to apply. The cream gel liner I haven't fully tried out yet but I'm very excited to play with especially in the autumn for like dressier occasions. Just maybe put it on the lower lash line. I think it will be so fun. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it was helpful seeing the swatches because I always look for swatch videos before I buy it on Colourpop because it's all online. So as per usual they do not disappoint always one of my favorite favorite makeup brands and that is it for this video subscribe to my channel for more check out some of my other videos and i will see you in my next one